A public safety program that has so far been successful in downtown Albuquerque is now expanding to Knob Hill. News 13's Courtney Allen spoke with businesses and police about the program. She's here with more. Courtney? Jess, the city says Knob Hill sees similar crime issues as downtown, and it's the next logical place to launch the program. The Brew Coffee Shop on Gold downtown has seen its fair share of crime. I think because it was where we got hit the hardest with the protests, a lot of boards, a lot of people just, you know, people working from home. Owner Juan Sertain says most recently he was assaulted a couple weeks ago inside his shop. I was actually afraid. Like it, it really, nobody had ever touched me like that and I didn't know what to do. Project Echo came to mind, a public safety program that previously helped him with a parking issue. Sertain called the coordinator and it was discussed at the next week's meeting. Through that, he's getting training for himself and employees on how to de-escalate situations in the future. I was worried about my employees. So I want to make sure that everyone is safe. The city says this is one of many examples of how Project Echo has helped downtown businesses and residents over the past two years. The program brings law enforcement together with local partners, first responders, and the community at bi-weekly meetings that around 50 to 60 people attend. Officer Hence Williams says people bring up issues and police connect them with resources and their neighbors. It makes my job a lot more easier, but it makes it a lot more rewarding. Officer Williams says another example was license plates getting stolen. Through that meeting, they learned of businesses that sold special screws that made it harder to remove plates. Community members got involved. One community member actually went out and purchased, I'd say about 50 or 60 screws just for us to hand out at this meeting. The program is now expanding to Knob Hill and will follow the same format as Downtown Echo. It has worked out pretty well to know um, you know, the lieutenant and know the officers and know their names and for them to know me as well. So it feels like we are building a community where I can rely on the police. Coordinators hope the program in Knob Hill will also establish a stronger partnership between APD and UNM police, who the city says encounters a lot of the same issues that police see outside of campus. Back to you. All right, thank you, Courtney. According to a survey, people in Knob Hill say they're most concerned about things like property crime, traffic, and the homeless. The first session for Knob Hill's Public Safety Echo is tomorrow afternoon at 4. We've posted a link at alwayson.krqe.com.